In order to identify the y value of the point that we're given, we need to write out the points and then label them x1, y1, and x2, and y2. And then we can plug all the information we have back into the equation for slope. So it's going to give us 4 over 3, which is the slope, is going to equal our y2, which is negative 1, minus our y1, which is y, over our x2, which is negative 11, minus x1, which is negative 2. Now if we clean up both sides of our equation, we'll have 4 over 3 is equal to negative 1 minus y over negative 9. From here, we can cross multiply, and we're going to get 4 times negative 9 is equal to negative 1 minus y multiplied by 3. We distribute everything through, we'll have negative 36 equals negative 3 minus 3y. We add 3 to both sides of the equation. We'll have negative 33 is equal to negative 3y. And then if we divide both sides of the equation by negative 3, we will have our final answer, which is 11 is equal to y, or y is equal to 11.